you know, if anything, I I had leeway if something came up, which knock on wood, fortunately, nothing has. And how is it going? I mean, your below back to normal, and, and yeah, it's or, probably or it's a process. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, everything is where it should be this time of year. Um, I think the biggest difference I've seen is, uh, and I appreciate now my ability to spin the ball um, with the new elbow. It's uh, that's been kind of the most exciting part for me. How much did you feel like the elbow affected you in, I guess, 2017 in that in that season? Yeah, I mean, you can just tell the way that, um, you know, like I said, spinning the ball, and that's something. Regardless of velocity, I've always that relied on spinning one way or the other, and uh, you know you can't really you tend to get around things a little bit more. And um, I probably didn't realize how much it was affecting me until I got a new elbow. Um, that spin rate, do you feel like it's higher than it was before? Or you just mean you got the spin back in the new elbow? Yeah, I mean uh, number wise, I'm not really certain, but I'm just saying like just in the in the movement of it and sharp and lateness. Really, that that's for me what I look at. Spin rate's gonna—I don't know—that's gonna be there. You—you um, you mentioned the Royals were a top target. Um, why? I, you know, like when you were going back to that, you just said a top target versus just a target. You know, what was yeah. appealing? Uh, you know, I, I had a great conversation on the phone with Cal, and um, you know, like I said, talked to Scott Sharp a lot, and um, you know, like I said, I just they preach culture, and I, you know, that's something that you know I think is really important, and uh, I feel like I was gonna be a good fit. Do you know any of the guys who are currently on the team already? Or? Uh, just Billy. Billy and Homer, um, and that's that's kind of about it. Um, Connor Green, I've played with briefly in spring training, I guess, with Blue Jays. And so I'm definitely the new kid at school at this point. <laughs> Do you, are there any things? I mean, I know you said you feel like you're where you should be, but in your mind, are there any questions like the things that you're sort of waiting to get over those hurdles just because you haven't had, you know, regular spring training or any sort of ball? Kind of yeah, I mean, a lot of it's just baseball shape. You know, at this time of the year, coming into spring training, there's always a physical adjustment, you know, there's no way to prep for this. Um, so, you know, having a year plus off, coming back into it, I know that it's going to it's gonna take a minute, but that's part of it. You know, like I said, I've had to respect the process since day one uh, through the surgery, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to try to be a hero day one here. Can you go over your last, like, 48 hours and how much of a whirlwind might have been? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I went from, uh, you know, I obviously – Got the call and they asked when I want to come. I said, well, it's the next day. So I, all I had was a list on my phone of what to pack. And so I just kind of threw it all together yesterday. Luckily, I had a delay on the flight, so I had a little bit of extra time. But uh, it was kind of a mad scramble to get here. But, you know, I got in about one ish last night. So it's, but hey, I'm, I'm excited. Where did you fly in from? Or? Indianapolis. So I flew from Indy into Phoenix. Was it a little bit colder there? Just, just a bit. So, uh, you know, I, it's been, uh, you know, it's not the prettiest time of year there in Indy, and you know, nice to see sunshine. You guys, good. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.